Instagram is shifting to video, and as photographers, we can either adapt to this change or stop growing on the platform. Today I'm teaching you how to create Instagram Reels with the photos you already have. We're putting your photography into a new medium to reach new audiences and ultimately grow your account. Hey there, if you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm teaching you photography and how to start a creative business. I wanna say hi to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm teaching you how to make Instagram Reels. I'll be talking specifically about one type of formula that we can use with all our photos. As photographers, we're in a great position to make Reels. We're sitting on hundreds of photos ready to be shared with the world. Maybe we've posted most of these on Instagram already, but now it's time to reuse them in an exciting new way. This is a simple Instagram Reels and TikTok formula that anyone can recreate. Let's play one of my better performing Reels to give you a look at this. Alright, let's break it down. First, we have a clip of us in front of the camera. This acts as your intro. You can either be waving to your camera, holding an accessory like a camera lens or prop, or just doing something interesting. A lot of the time, I'll just wave and pretend to be taking a photo in these reels. Yes, you may feel dumb doing this, but this acts like a hook and keeps your audience watching. Now, if you're embarrassed about showing your face or hate your voice, my advice is to just get used to it. I started doing YouTube in January, and if you want to have a laugh, go watch one of those videos and see how awkward I was. In these past seven months, my personality didn't change. I just practiced being on camera a lot. I didn't care about what others thought, and I just did it. Of course, this is way easier said than done, but if an introvert like me can do it, so can you. Now, over this clip, we're gonna have some text that's relevant to your photography and will draw the viewers in. This takes some thinking as it's a bit more of a creative exercise. If you're a cityscape photographer and took some photos at sunrise, your hook can be something like, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. for these photos. And then after that, we can have text that reads, was it worth it? The first caption arouses interest in the person watching, and the second caption is there to make them keep watching. Remember, Reels and TikToks are usually 15 second clips, so you have to capture someone's attention within the first one to two seconds of the Reel. If you don't, they're gonna scroll away. Reels and TikToks were designed for quick dopamine hits, and you need to play into that in order for the Instagram algorithm to favor you. Let's do another example. Let's say you're a wedding photographer, and you have some beautiful photos of a couple to share. Since weddings are finally back on, your intro could be something like, this was my first wedding shoot in 15 months. Do I still have what it takes? Again, we're grabbing the attention of the audience here and trying to keep them watching. This is the part where you get creative and try different things. All right, so how long should that intro be? Generally, these are gonna be four to seven seconds, depending on your music choice. Now I'll get into the music a little later in the video, but for now, let's keep that number in mind. Now that your intro is recorded, let's add some photos. Let's go back to my first example of that sunrise. You got six awesome photos from it and you wanna share them. This is the perfect place for it. Now, once you've recorded your face, this is the easy part. All you have to do is add these photos into your editing software, choose the length of time the photos are displayed to match the beat of your music and your set. The number of photos you're gonna use here will depend on your song choice. My number one tip to stand out in these types of videos is to have the photos switch on the beat of the song. This is a small attention to detail, but it goes so far in these videos. Now let's talk about the music. I recommend using a song that's going viral. Now this isn't necessary, but I think it helps. If you use TikTok or Reels a lot, you'll already know what these songs are. And if you don't consume these apps, then go ahead, open up TikTok, hit that plus button, tap add sound, scroll down and click TikTok viral. And there you go. You can pick one of these that will be a safe bet to use. You wanna make sure they're on Instagram as well. So do a quick search on there just to make sure it's not a TikTok exclusive song. When you're looking for a song, this is why I recommend you search for. Use a song with a drop in it. Remember that four to seven second intro? Well, the length of that is dependent on the drop of the song. So if you have four seconds of lead up time, then a drop, then make your intro four seconds long. On that drop is where you start showing your photos to the beat of the music. You wanna ensure that your photos are switching on the beat to make sure your reel stands out. This can be tricky, but I'll show you how to do it. Some songs have longer intros, some songs have shorter ones, but generally you wanna find ones that are in the four to seven second range. Once you've got your song, you can edit everything together and post it. Now let's go through an example. If you're getting any value out of this video, please drop a like below. I love teaching this stuff and your support helps me make more of these videos. If you wanna stay notified for future videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, I'm gonna make a reel from scratch and walk you through the entire process. I'll be sharing some product photography shots, so for my intro, I'm gonna be holding this can. All right, let's record it. All right, great, now that that's done, let's import that footage onto my computer and start editing. 
I'll be using Final Cut Pro for this edit. It's the same principles if you have iMovie or Premiere. The editing software itself doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and create a new project. We'll just call this Reels Example. Make sure it's vertical. You want 1080 by 1920 and the rest is unchanged. Now we can go ahead and save, import the rest of the, the rest of the footage. Grab all this stuff and import selected. Click O and press E to select that and put it at the end of our timeline. So that's sitting just under six seconds, which is right in the four to seven second mark. What we're gonna do next is add in all the photos that we that we wanna use for this. Pressing E on my keyboard and we got all these in here. Um, you can see these are four by five crops, so we want to make them a bit bigger to, to just fill in the screen here. Scale them up until they completely fill it up and we're good to go. What we want to do next is add in the music, right? I know I said to use a viral song, but this is YouTube and I don't want any copyright strikes here. So we're gonna add this with a song that I'm allowed to use, my YouTube intro. How do I get music onto my computer? Um, this is a little tricky, but a feature I found helpful is the voiceover feature in the software. And I'll record straight from TikTok into Final Cut Pro. So this audio quality will be terrible, but it's just for editing to the beat and we won't be using this audio in the final clip. We'll be syncing the song on Instagram or TikTok and that will be the final song there. So this um, audio is just there for us to edit to. Okay, so we're gonna hit record here and we're gonna press play on my phone. Okay, so we just need 15 seconds of the song in order to use this with uh, the reel. So we're gonna find the drop of the song. Let's see, that is right there. So what we're gonna do is press M on our keyboard to put a mark there and that'll make it a lot easier for us to edit to. We got this mark here. We're going to drag this part down here and make sure that the mark is at the end of my intro. When my intro ends, the beat, the beat drops, these images come in. Let's extend this all the way through here. Cut it right there. Let's see how this is. So that's pretty good. The beat drops right when it switches to this photo. So what I like to do is I like to listen through the song and then just hit M on my keyboard every time I hear the beat. Um, that way I can easily retime the photos to that beat. So let's try that out. Okay, so I just hit on my keyboard a few times. Looks like this one's at, let's expand that. This first mark is right at 523. Then we got 706, uh, 817. So we know it's, what did I say, 107 there? And we're good to go. So let's open up Instagram and post. Hit the plus button, go to reels, and select the reel, and hit add up here. Next, we're going to add the music that we were recording in Final Cut Pro. Since this is YouTube and I can't use these songs, I'll mute this, but I'll still show you what to do. So hit the music icon and either search for the song or if it's up here, just click it. So we got the song and now we have to line it up with the beat of the music. So what we're gonna do is hit preview. Now we're gonna listen to the song and see whether or not it times with our drop. If it doesn't, we have to go back, click audio and just retime it here. You gotta repeat that process a few times and make sure that, that the song aligns with the music, aligns with the drop and the beat that you edited. So once that's done, you can go ahead and hit preview. And now we're gonna add text. So my intro will be, I take pictures of cans for a living. And then my other text will be, which would you drink? So with these, we'll set the duration. So click on the text at the bottom here, um, select that first one and change the duration for the first half of your intro. And then the second one, just change that duration right when that one disappears, right there. 
and extend it through the end of your intro. Like that. So let's have a look at this whole thing from the beginning. Let's move that so it's on my face. Obviously there's gonna be music playing for yours, but again, I can't show this on YouTube since uh, I don't wanna get a copyright strike. So once that is done, hit done at the top, go to share to, and write your caption. Uh, this doesn't have to be anything fancy. Sometimes I'll have a call to action here so I could do, which is you, your favorite photo. And hashtags, uh, go ahead and add a few in. I'm not sure what the best protocol for this is, I've had reels do really well with very few hashtags. I've had reels do well with a lot of hashtags. So experiment here and see what works for you. I'll just do a big general one, photography, then uh, product photographer, and then maybe something more niche like Moody Grams. So last thing you wanna do is adjust your cover photo. I like to keep it as the, uh, the first intro text here. Um, it's fine to do one of these photos if you think that's more compelling to get clicks, but I personally just use the first one there. So click done there, and all that's left is to hit share and you're done. And that's it. That's a super simple real formula that's guaranteed to get your results as long as you follow all these steps. You're a photographer and you already have great content. You just need to put it into real form. Let's quickly recap all the elements you need. We need an intro with your face in it, intro text that draws the audience in, music with a drop in it, and a few photos with the same theme to play on the beat of the music. Combine all that into a reel and you're set. If you have any questions about this process, please drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it. I appreciate you watching. I think it's great that you wanna get better at photography and learn more about Instagram's latest features. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a like. It really helps me out. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.